For someone who has flown under the radar all the way to the top, middle blocker Kirsty Jackson is now getting a lot of attention as an up-and-comer on the USA national team. I did see it in my future, but I didn't know how realistic it was. I mean, it was always a dream of mine. Um, and now that it's reality, it's amazing. In high school, volleyball wasn't Jackson's only focus since she played other sports. But it eventually became the sport to win her attention. I did track, I swam, and I played basketball. Um, I chose volleyball just because I had so much fun at it. I, I still have fun today. Um, so that makes the process of learning so much easier when you like what you're actually doing. After high school, Jackson went to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas of the Mountain West Conference, not known as one of the country's elite programs. Um, well, I spent two years at UNLV, and it was an amazing experience. I mean, I got to play um, my freshman year, and I'm not sure if I would have had the same opportunities at other schools. Jackson then transferred to the University of Arizona, a program on the rise in the powerful Pac-12. I decided to make the switch just to play in the Pac-10. I mean, that's the highest level. Arizona just was a perfect fit. Dave Rubio is amazing, and I don't know, I just felt right at home at Arizona. After a two-week tryout last year, Jackson unexpectedly made the U.S. national team. Now in her second season, she still struggles with being undersized for her position at six foot two. I'm trying to take everything in from last year and just use it this year by feeling more confident on the court and comfortable with my surroundings. So it's been good so far. She's super positive, smiling all the time. She's got a, a special um, cheer to her and innocence to her, having not spent so much time in this gym. She's very welcoming, very funny, and you know, on the court, she makes people really comfortable around her. The USA Volleyball Cup is approaching at the beginning of July, where the United States, ranked second in the world, takes on number one, Brazil, on U.S. soil. Um, I'm excited to play them now. That rivalry is just something, something crazy. Just knowing what they, their system and what they run, and the more you play a team, the better you can kind of predict what they're going to do. The USA Cup will be one of the most important events in the lead up to the Olympics, where the US and Brazil could meet up again, but this time in Rio de Janeiro. For USA Volleyball, this is Jordan Young of the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.